in this video I'm gonna be showing you more about White Knight Chronicles 2 first of all if you buy White Knight Chronicles 2 on disc it includes part one of White Knight Chronicles so you're getting double the trophies the game supports six-player co-op online there are over a hundred missions probably 200 now um, they have lots to do uh, you can make your own town which is your personal lobby and um, let me see they have each room has up to 16 people that can be in a, a single room and you have 20, 20 different rooms 16 uh, people maximum in each room uh, that's amazing um, so you're hosting that at any time you want um, now my town's not maxed out yet but I, I tried with it I'm gonna show you guys right now I'm gonna set it one up I'm gonna put let's team up level 31 to 40 guild rank 1 to 11 public no password and we're gonna create a room uh, the name of my town or world whatever it's called tech boy city um, I wanted to name it something else but it's basically named after your PSN ID which is no problem but as far as the town is concerned all the resources and materials you get from monsters and collecting stuff on a campaign or on a co-op gameplay you use that to make everything that you want in your town this table you know these training dummies and then also in a campaign you will run across people in the huge towns of the campaign the huge cities of the campaign that you can recruit to work uh, or join your town so everything right here I've created from scratch by grinding on this RPG and this is this is the town that I, I made from White Knight Chronicles 1 actually you know and I'm still building on it you know everything that you did in White Knight Chronicles 1 transfers over to White Knight Chronicles 2 yes the graphics are more improved the textures are better you know they increase the amount of people that can join you in co-op missions because I believe it was a uh, four-player co-op um, now it's six-player co-op online you know so there's a lot of stuff um, most people probably thought when I came to this town it was just that part down there but it's this part up here that I um, was able to do when you get a higher guild rank and you do all the qualifications you can expand your town a lot so this whole area you see it's not a lot over here I couldn't expand this far but when I get the proper guild rank I can uh, I believe it's a way to go down there if I'm sure I'm not sure but you can take screenshots at any time let me see how you do that oh there we go um, with crystal camera you can take a screenshot at any time and um, how we zoom in so we gotta just take a screenshot like this yeah let's just take a screenshot how do I? there we go wasn't well, one of the best ones but you see what I'm talking about right push R1 to see how many players are in your town at any time and I'm gonna go to a different section of the town uh, one I haven't really put anything in but um, like I said when I level up high enough and good a good guild rank and guild rank is all about doing missions you know so doing co-op missions and you know at least having very very good armor and weapons so you can do those more difficult co-op missions so this is the other area you can see how big it is no loading screens no pop-up everything's just one and it's crazy like that um, can't wait until I um, unlock this area so I can start creating stuff in this this is another big area so um my town is pretty cool we're gonna go back to the um, my lobby well this that was my lobby but we're gonna go back to the, my online interface uh, now online for uh, White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2 is called GeoNet if uh, you guys wanted to know about that uh, you also have your 
sort of like posts like logs and posts Twitter type shit like you can um talk about your upgrades and stuff like that uh, you can see most of these are from 2010 it keeps my whole progress from whenever I started uh, so let me see this one was one of my first one this was one of my uh, first post ever that I reach uh, level 23 and after after uh, three days of training and you know I posted that with my armor and I took a picture of me in the campaign you know and then I talked about a weapon that I made uh, and stuff like that and then uh, I made my started making my village so I talked about that showed a picture of me looking out at my village you know crazy you know lots of memories lots of memories all of these are posts from 2010 I was playing White Knight Chronicles a lot in 2010 and you can see that when you come to my town so I think that's pretty cool um, you know there's lots of games that have sequels and they're not um, really connected with the first installment of that title and I think you know White Knight Chronicles should be awarded for doing that because like I say there I'm pretty sure if I put this into your minds right now you're gonna be agreeing with me so we're in the city right now of the campaign and I'm gonna show you how big this city is um, no loading screens when you're walking around this huge city but one thing I want to put into your minds is what if your rank from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare transferred over to Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 you know you wouldn't have to keep starting the rank over and over and over again you know if you're such a big fan you know they should reward the fans by allowing them to keep their rank you know and this is for every game even you know games like Killzone 2 they should allow me to keep my master rank from Killzone 2 you know and all the guns and stuff that I unlock it's just something to think about I'm glad that um they did that with White Knight Chronicles 2 um so I think it's pretty cool so uh there's a weapon shot right here. I already had one on, in my town outside. You might have not noticed it, but I did have one. Had a weapon shop. There's uh, select buildings you can go in on White Knight Chronicles 2 on a campaign. But uh, still, no loading screens. You can go around. You know. Okay. Let's most this people out. you can talk to probably like I say 80%. Maybe I give it even 90% of people you can talk to on White Knight. So uh, let me. Sometimes I have to look at the map like this because the towns are so fucking huge. Look at this. This is a pretty big. God damn, that's a pretty big town. Um. I'm guessing these people with the red ideas are probably, um side missions probably some more side missions okay let's see what I'm supposed to be doing as far as my main objective okay these are just these are just quests that I've gotten uh, that I can do other side missions combat geo net all of that shit like that Contr controls errands bounty requests yeah I got a lot of fucking I got a lot of errands already in Dennis a shitload god damn look at all of the what the fuck that's a lot that's a lot of side missions I want to find we out my main faster. mission sometimes that is very difficult because like I said uh, not just uh, the towns and the cities are huge as fuck um, when you get out there on the battlefield you would get loot or lost without bringing up this map if you have uh, one of those books that help you play the game better 
You know, that might be pretty cool if you could find one. Um, I don't really like to rely on that, but yeah, the maps are pretty huge. So I'm guessing each and every one of these people with these marks above their head. Not these. These are just the talking bubbles. But uh, you can see that uh, I've been walking around this city for a very long time. No loading screens. Nothing's changing. You know, that's that's the power of the PS3. I remember when they first showed this game ever, when they showed this shit at E3 long ass time ago. I was so amazed. I was like, what the fuck, man? I could not wait for this title. I'm still happy that I'm supporting it. You know, it, it doesn't matter if nobody else supporting it. It's the type of game that I like. It's just like uh, people river? tell me, oh, they love Call of Duty. You know, and, you know, it's the best game ever. I don't like it. It doesn't matter how much they tell me they like it. I'm not going to like it. So I understand that people are that way. Even if this game is a better quality title. You know, and more to do. Um, so, I'm on a battlefield now. Not all roads are for the In a real time, I can start a fight with any enemy I see on the field. Once again, let's admire some water. Very good looking water. Saw the sun shining through those trees over there. Uh, this game does support day and night system. Oh, it's a treasure chest up there. And this is how you would harvest things. Pretty, it reminds me a lot of uh, um, Monster Hunter sometimes when you harvest you know and it's cool because um it's it's sort of a level of grinding when you harvest you want to make sure you get a lot of materials so you can make your town look Let's like mine or make it look better i saw people with huge ass towns um so you can start a fight with any of these enemies but they're they're trying to start a fight with us so i'm gonna show them what the fuck is up I'm pretty sure you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. Some action, right? Okay, we killed all the, all the enemies. I thought it was another one over here fucking over. I want to get... Oh, shit. Yeah, you can mine, too. They've got a lot of mining spots in here. Pretty cool. One thing that they did so it, it, it's not repetitive is the fuck how do I get up onto that plateau um, whenever you search for items in one spot instead of searching multiple times they just give you a shitload of items now on um, White Knight Chronicles 1 you had to keep searching keep searching and get different amounts of items now you just search that one spot and get a lot of them um, let me see what I can do I can uh, fuck these enemies up there we go. I like doing those huge attacks that wipe out a lot of enemies. So, I, um, I don't know if I covered this before, but you can, um, you got different stats and stuff like that. It's your traditional RPG. RPG. Um, let's see, let's see. Let me show you my commands. These are the attacks and different magic stuff that I'm using. I'll push R3 and I can show you my skill tree. Um, I'm really focused in divine magic right now, healing. Um, my long sword, you can see I'm using my Zomba. No, am I using my Zomba toe or the other blade? I got multiple blades you can use. And I'm also a little bit into the uh, elemental magic and I'm gonna work on that probably a tad bit more because I'm trying to do those bigger attacks that take away a lot of damage and um, cover a lot of area so um also one more thing I wanted to show you I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say, oh when you change the weapons is, are you gonna really see the change yeah you're really gonna see the change uh, this is my zombie toe right here and this is uh, my spectra blade looks amazing and it does a lot more damage than the zombie toe uh, anytime 
if you don't want a piece of armor on you don't have to have it if you have another piece of armor on switch it you will see the change um, I don't think I have any alternates on this one okay I know Leonard does I know Leonard has some alternates so if I want him to wear that outfit he can wear this out there on the battlefield and in real time you see that change you see that if you look at Leonard right now he has that outfit on but you know it's it's not good for him to have that because it's not a lot of defense dealing with that so we're going to change him back to um, steel armor and you see that he's changed into it on a battlefield so it's uh, it's pretty cool like that um, definitely a quality uh, Japanese RPG RPG whatever you want to call it it's an amazing RPG you know really it is. It's very, very good. A lot of people, I believe, were afraid to pick this title up or didn't pick this title up or didn't want to learn about this title because they didn't know about it. Now I'm up on a plateau and I need to get that treasure chest. You know, and that's okay. Um, I feel that it, it's better if I just do videos like this and if you want to get the game after you watch the whole video sure but don't watch two minutes of the video and say that you know about the game when you don't um, I, I'm well aware that many people don't make it to the 15th minute of the video that I post or to even the 10th minute of the video I post unless I'm doing some sort of trash talking it shouldn't be like that I've said this multiple times this week this is the gaming community you guys should be happy that somebody like me is posting quality gameplay videos of titles you might not know about. I'm doing you a favor right now. Damn, I couldn't get my magic off at the um I'm gonna get him now. There we go. He did. So um, I think I'm gonna defeat this enemy one more, real quick. Then we're gonna. I'm just gonna say bye. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay of White Knight Chronicles. It's a huge game. It's going to keep you busy for a very long amount of time. Trust me. Um, sometimes I really got to work some of these games like this into my schedule because I do have a lot of stuff to do. I don't just sit at home and play fucking games. I have a life. There's no way that I can be buying these games if I don't have a job. And, uh, you know, I need a job so I can pay for electricity and, you know, the cable and for the internet and shit like that. So, I'm sorry if I'm not like some of these other assholes that seem like all they do is sit around the house and just play games. But, you know, I do actually work some of the games into my schedule uh, so I can make sure I play them. White Knight Chronicles is a very big game and I do have to find it at least one day or two to just focus on this game alone and I think today is that day um, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of grinding and um, exploring and stuff like that so I will be back with some upgrades and some updates for White Knight Chronicles showing you um, new armors, new weapons all of that stuff